Alright, this connection continues to drop and reestablish much later. And the only time my other files, any file that is not associated with IMVU is being accessed is when this is connected to my computer. The person who I thought was behind it is not in the room. It showed up before anyone joined any room I was in. So it must somehow be affiliated with IMVU. So them accessing my personal files has to stop. It has to be illegal. It's theft. And who's going to stop it? Why? This is a... Well, where to go now? It's completely gone again. It's a corporate IP address. That's all I can find out, other than the fact that it is layer soft. Well, soft layer. And they do web hosting and cloud storage. I do not have any of their services. Do not use cloud storage. But... They can upload my stuff, my property. Why? Why will nobody stop them? We need stronger security for end users like myself because we don't know who's behind these. We don't, most of us don't know how to even pull this up and have no clue when we're being hacked. We depend on our firewalls and our virus scans and everything to protect us but if we allow a company allow a program through our firewall that happens to be a peer-to-peer -peer program we have no protection companies that charge people should have to protect people well the funny thing is though what nobody seems to understand this threat is not just for end users. There are several people, hundreds of people, thousands of people who claim to be at work while they're on this client. And other clients like it. So if they are really at work during their time on these clients, they're exposing their companies to this risk. Is Thank you. 
Now you see 174 is gone and there is nothing accessing D, G, well what drives are there? C, D, I locked this one but I don't know why, U, there is nothing going with these two drives. There is nothing in my file history, and there is nothing that I can see going to my photos. Anyway, there might be people out there who make their living from doing graphic designs and creating video games and might be using their home computers and relying on their protection. And they might be facing the same issues that I am. 
when you think about all, have you seen all those games that are exactly alike through Google Play? Who's to say that somebody did not just grab it out of somebody's cache folder? If we're not aware and not trying to check this and find out where our stuff is going, nobody's going to do it for us. So it's about time that people start realizing there is nothing you can do. You can't stop it, but you can be aware of it and try to take measures to protect your property before it's stolen. So if you have a GPU cache folder, delete it. Change your settings. Open up your photo, whatever. Photoshop, GIMP, whatever you use, and go to edit preferences, hardware, no, performance, and just make it as small as possible so that way if your files are stored there, it's not going to hold 21 gigabytes of designs and change the, cat, the quality type. If you're making big files, you don't want them stored with high detail. So you want to, well, you do want them stored with high detail for your use. But you don't want what's in the cache stored as high detail because if it is, once they open it and they have access to it, they have your design in high quality. And all they have to do is say it's theirs. And that's how intellectual theft or well, intellectual property theft works all you have to do is say you own something and offer to sell it to anybody and they believe you you have it why not right we don't have ways to protect ourselves because everything that we try to do everything we purchase to protect our work they can purchase something to crack it. So what is the point? And learn from my lesson. Do not say PNG formats. They're high quality. They're, they preserve your transparency. They're easier to alter. And 174 is still gone. Well, I guess you can try demanding better security standards from the companies, but they will ignore you. And no, I don't mean contact your security company because they won't, can't help you. They're not go interested in our problems. We're individuals. We're not corporates. We're just one of those many unknown threats. If you're a creator of anything and you know what's even worse is that all these security breaches we hear about. Why did what's the point? Why do they even need it when you're not protected? If they can get a hold of your IP address and they know how to hack, you're not safe.
And there we go, all the way through and nothing. Uh, I don't have enough anything left for them to spill, but maybe they'll just keep checking back. And maybe I'll catch them in the act again. But let me reaffirm that this is not an individual as I thought. This cannot be unless somebody who is hacking everybody on the IMVU client right now. Because I'm the only person in the room right now. And when I entered the room, I was the only person in the room as soon as I entered this per this connection was established. So they have something set up so that they can scan and upload our files. This has to be illegal. And when more people realize this is what's going on, there might be some hell being raised and I hope so. Meanwhile, all kinds of companies are profiting from their theft. Without the designs they're stealing from their community, without the meshes that they're stealing from their community, many people would not have so many cells. You know why they are getting cells? Because the high def textures, the new looks, new designs. If, they, if somebody was not making them, nobody would be paying $19, $20, $600 for this new phone or that new shirt or whatever. They wouldn't be dropping $50 and $60 on a new video game because of the textures. So yeah, in summary, nothing is safe. And everything you create has a dollar value. It may not be worth anything in your opinion, but to somebody else it might be worth thousands or it might be worth millions. Do you know how much graphic designers make when they're they're employed to do it? And do you know that all the graphic design firms are using the same exact things right now and that they purchased it from people who do not have the rights to sell them? And do, well, I guess you don't care. I guess nobody would care until it happens to them or until this leaks out from some office or some graphic design firm when somebody else catches on to it. When they look at their work, they use a 40-inch screen with high resolution and create something in high def or 3D. And they use so many different filters and so many different layers and they create such a certain look that there's no mistaking their style. But everybody suddenly knows how to do it. It is still gone. Wow.
And here we are in what they are accessing right now. Do you see NVIDIA? I certainly don't. And meanwhile, the thief is secure because who's going to listen to me? I can provide all the proof I know how to. Nobody's going to listen to me. So if you use it, if you're a creator, if you actually make your own textures, not the color change that everyone does, or just apply a new filter, check this. If you're wasting your money buying textures from any of the sites, and you think they're not on IMVU, check this. No matter where you store them, no matter how you store them, if there is a trace of them on your hard drive, they have them.